Hello, and welcome to my Inspired Mackenzie Child Teapot. Prepare a piping bag with soft consistency icing and a number two nozzle, and outline each section of the teapot, starting with the lid. For the handle, you're going to pipe two outlines, one on the outer portion of the handle and then following the exact same outline and leaving about a quarter or an eighth of an inch between the two pipe lines. Allow the outline to dry for 20 minutes. With flood consistency icing, fill in all the sections of the teapot. You don't need to wait to fill in each section, that's why we outlined it. Once you've finished filling in all the little sections, allow the cookie to dry for 8 to 12 hours. Before you can start painting the checkers for the teapot, you need to make a grid. And each teapot cutter is different. My squares are 3 fourths of an inch by 3 fourths of an inch, and the handle is an inch apart. Once you have your grid in place, begin painting just the black checkers. The color black I'm using is Sugar Flare's Black Extra Food Paste Gels. And I prefer it because it's the truest black food paste I've been able to find. To achieve a nice thick paint, use a slightly dampened brush to apply the color.
Be mindful when you're painting in your grid that you keep your lines crisp and that none of the color bleeds into the white checkered area. When painting the black squares of our teapot, be mindful to keep a little white highlight on most of them. I would say a little bit more than three-fourths of them should have a white highlight somewhere in the, the square. That will give us a shiny effect at the very end. It will also add some realism to the cookie. It helps to have a visual guide in front of you while you're painting your teapot. I actually used my Mackenzie Child teapot as my visual guide. If you don't have a checkered teapot to look at, just go to horshaw.com, type Mackenzie hyphen Childs in the search box and her checkered teapot plates, they'll all come up and you can just print out the one you like best and use that as your visual guide.
The checkers on the handle of the teapot are painted with the same method that we used on the body. The only difference is because the checkers are curved, they don't have those crisp, crisp straight lines and pointed corners. So you're going to want to paint in the direction of form. The spout of the teapot is the only area that we're changing the desi design just slightly. We're not changing the method how we're painting, we're not changing the color, but we are changing the shape. So at the widest portion of the spout where I'm painting at the moment, that shape looks more like a triangle than it does a square. You're doing this so that it gives the impression that your teapot is 360 degrees instead of just laying flat on a board. Going back to when we piped the cookie, we decided to leave a little gap at the top of the spout. We need to paint that area black. It's just where it's a naked cookie. There's no icing. Load your brush with Red Extra from Sugar Flare to paint the little bead on the top of the teapot. If we dab the paintbrush ever so slightly, we'll add texture to the top of that bead. Using a little bit of gold luster dust mixed with lemon extract, load a small round brush, then paint the area between the lid and the teapot with the gold. The area of the bottom of the teapot before you get to the base with the gold. And just the tiny section where the bead and the top of the teapot intersect. We're changing the hue of the gold by painting over the black space, the area that we made black on the naked cookie. 
to create the illusion that you could actually see down inside the spout by making it a lot darker than the rest of the cookie. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to learn more about painting and piping cookies, stop by Shop Fifth Avenue Cakes and join my online classes. New classes are added every month. This is one of the ones for September.